Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at cloud storage. So cloud storage is a serverless object storage service. You do not have to worry about the underlying disks, right sizing, availability, durability, uh, the file system underneath. You only pay based on the storage, so the at rest storage and the download. So actually accessing or requesting files. Uh, files are called objects and folders are called buckets. Uh, it has unlimited storage with no minimum object size. Uh, probably there is an upper limit. Most um, serverless object storages do have a particular limit, but theoretically it's unlimited storage worldwide accessibility and worldwide storage locations, low latency, so time to first byte, typically 10 of milliseconds, has a high durability, so it has nine nines of annual durability. When I say nine nines, it's because uh, it's 99 and then followed by nine nines, okay? Uh, it has geo redundancy if the data is stored in multi-region or dual region. It has a uniform experience with cloud storage features, security tools, and APIs. Um, and I want to cover available storage classes because these do show up on the exam. This isn't something that other fundamental certifications would go this deep on, but um, uh, Google really wants you to know uh, better in detail their core services. So uh, for um, available storage classes, we have standard. Uh, and so here, this is for frequent uh, file use. So if you're building a web application or just general use, you're going to be going with standard storage. Now, this is the least cost-effective solution. It's not expensive, but there's ways to save, okay? You have nearline storage. This is when you're gonna be accessing on average a file once a month or less, right? It's gonna be cheaper uh, than standard storage, but the key thing is once a month or less. Uh, then you have cold line storage. This has a higher access cost than nearline store, but a lower at, re at rest cost. So that's kind of just a bit of a trade-off there. You have archive storage. This actually has no SLA um, uh, availability is zero availability uh, uh, SLA uh, because it's just it's offline, right? So uh, very slow retrieval, very cost effective, rarely or never intended to be accessed. You're using these to store like um, uh, you know like reports or accounting information that you have an obligation to store for seven years. That's when you'd be using that. Notice that there's this number here. It says uh, 0, 30, 90, 365. This is the minimum storage duration. It's the minimum days a file needs to remain in a storage before deleting. If deleted prematurely, a charge will occur. So the idea is they want you to hold on to them for a particular time uh, to effectively use them, uh, right? Because if you delete them sooner, then it doesn't make sense for... Um, for you or for Google Cloud. But yeah, I just want to emphasize that available storage classes will be on the exam and they showed up more than once for me. So definitely know the difference, okay?